going through the cards, trying to find your number. What is keeping you up, sweetie? What is keeping you up? Oh, what is on your mind? Hmm? Who or what is on your mind? And why are they on your mind? Why are they on your mind? Why are they in your energy? Because if they're keeping you up at night, they're not in your life. They're not in your life in a positive way. Come on, spirit. the powers to be watch over me during this reading oh, i see and read please help me interpret these cards as you see fit spirit what is this about what's this you see that asset of that just blew right out guys let's look at them seven of pentacles in reverse page of wands in the reverse four of swords in the upright ace of pentacles high priestess queen of swords in reverse and the nine of swords in reverse okay you know there was no passionate start they didn't want to put forth the work or effort time energy effort right this be your energy or who you're dealing with and you know that you realize that you realize that okay so you know it broke your heart you were really wanting this person to come in and 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 make the offer, put some effort towards it, but they didn't, okay? <sighs> you got good. You got abundance coming in. The universe wants to gift you something beautiful and amazing and tangible. You know this. You're getting that feel. You know things are getting better. You know things are going to change. You know, you know... You're on the verge of something good and amazing. You know this. And if you don't, I'm going to tell you. You're going to get gifted something beautiful and tangible and helpful. Trust your intuition. Trust your guidance. You're probably being told to leave this person, place, or thing behind, okay? Just leave it. There was no start. It didn't happen for a reason. And even if this person come in, you know they would never put forth the time nor energy that you would have needed or expected from them. Okay, you know this. Okay, so let's just... <sighs> you got to see the truth and get out of your head, okay? You just you just got to get out of your head. You, you see the truth. You know the truth. Just... Deal with it, okay? Spirits like concentrate on this. This new this new abundance, this new gift, this new opportunity that's coming in to, towards you, okay? This is what you need to focus on. Okay, spirit, you blew them cards out. Let's shuffle it one more time. So you know it's a probably a person, guys. Okay, probably a person with the heart right there. Could be work, love, or life. Let's see where the cards take us. We'll wake this deck up, spirit. What have you got? What have you got? The Empress and a balanced life. Yes. Yes. This is what life's about. You and your power creating, giving birth, doing wonderful things, nurturing, loving, looking fucking amazing. Living a balanced life. Giving of yourself, but not too much, right? It's a nice, healthy give and take. That's how you operate. That's the only way you operate, right? Things have got to be balanced. You don't deal with people who take, take, take from you. And you're not just give, give, giving. You kind of see the truth in that. Well, shit. You're going to find out something. Someone's going to communicate something to you that's going to put you back in your fucking head. Okay? It's going to put you back in your fucking head. And I don't like this energy because you know what? We got the High Priestess, yes, and the Knight of Swords. It 
it's going to it's going to come out of nowhere. It's going to surprise the hell out of you. It's going to try to get you off your off your um out of balance. It, it, it's going to try to fuck with your intuition. It's going to try to go against what you know you need to do, what you know you should do, right? It's going to be communication. Expect it. But this is going to be communication that's just going to fuck you up. Okay, so if the, if you have any idea who this person, place, or thing might be, I'd avoid the conversation, okay? Just avoid the fucking conversation because it isn't going to be to your benefit. It is just to knock you off your fucking, uh, to knock you off balance. Could be someone from the past coming in. Yeah, look at this. We got the four cups in reverse and the tower. It's just another setback. Maybe another setback from a same old situation. This is definitely someone from the past. This is someone that you could have made an offer to or they could have made an offer to you. Either way, someone refused it. And it was a tower moment then. This is just blockages and stops along the way to keep you from getting your abundance, to keep you from living the life. Because people are seeing that you have your shit together. So someone wants to come in and throw that off kilter, okay? Someone wants to come in and fuck your shit up because they're not happy that you're doing good. They're not happy about it. They want to take away your happiness, your abundance, your material possessions, whatever the hell. They want to see you in a lost position. They want to see you heartbroken and unhealed. They don't like the fact that you're doing good. This could even be friends and family. You know, we got peeps, some people around us that really don't like to see you when someone's doing good. And uh, you all probably know who I'm talking about. This could even be a parent, guys. You know what I mean? Some parents don't like to see their kids doing well. Uh, you're going to have a very dominant energy. Oh, shit. With the page of uh, wands here and this knight of wands wanting to come in. Very dominant energy. It's going to want to try to control something. They're going to try to control you. Okay, this is my narcissist card. This person don't care who the fuck they hurt. They'll hurt anybody to get what they want. This is just a dominant energy. You need to fucking run from this energy, okay? Because all they're going to do is come in and stop any forward movement in your life and break your heart. And they're not going to be communicative when it comes to their emotions or feelings, okay? It's going to be the same old shit with the Seven of Pentacles here. There is no relationship here, okay? Chances are they probably got someone else, okay? What you need to focus on, fuck this other person. You get your Queen of Wands, very fiery, passionate, beautiful, loving, kind, generous energy, and you go out. But it's not going to be with this person that you think. Because this person that you're thinking about is not going to be able to give you what you want or what you need. A lot of lies and deception. They're very impatient. So they want to come in. But they just want to come in to fuck your shit up. Okay? They just want to come in to fuck your shit up. Just know that. Okay? They just want to fuck your shit up. Yeah. They want to keep you stuck. They want to keep you stuck. Because they see that you're strong. They see that you've tamed your beast. They see that you have accomplished. And they're not liking that. They're not liking that. They got to see you down and see you stuck. Very well could be dealing with some handsome person. King of Wands here. This is a dominant energy. A more masculine energy. Trying to keep you down. Probably dealt with in the past. But this person does not want to see you do good. Or do better. Or do anything. Yeah, in the past, they definitely fucked you over a little bit, right? A lot of deception, lies, sneakiness. Two of Wands up there. Decision time again. What are you going to do? And then we got the King of Cups here. Now, this could definitely be someone new coming in, right? Hell, I just seen this in it. You're manifesting a partnership. I think you're worried about the wrong fucking person. Because the one that you might be thinking about is not going to come forward. They're not going to move away from where the hell they're at. Because right now, it's just a lot of conflict up in your shit. A lot of people up in your business. 
A lot of people, up, yeah, because death to a situation. You're not ending something. Someone can't end something. There's just no, there's no ending to this. Yeah, death and the Ten of Wands here. With the will of fortune. This is spirit saying, honey, honey. In the situation, drop the fucking burdens. Then that will of fortune is going to turn in your benefit. I'm really not getting a whole lot to clarify here, folks, right? Jack, sweetie, go to the other room. I love you, but really. Hmm. Oh, we got some beautiful energy up in here. Where do you want to go? Yeah, okay, you know, someone's getting some judgment. That's why they want to see stuck, or they're stuck. Somebody's stuck here. They're not liking it. Because this is karma. This could be judgment in the court of law. Someone's getting some judgment for their lack of decision making. For their lack of making a head over heart decision. Okay? Someone's getting their judgment for it. Could be by the good Lord up above or in the court of law and someone ain't happy about it. Right? Because we got the strength, the emperor, and temperance. This is your energy. You have, you have grown. You have bossed up. You are very, it's a dominant energy. Definitely if you're a female, right? It's a dominant energy. You're taking that fucking control back, right? Because you've done the work. You've gotten the healing. But like I said, someone just wants to come in and keep you stuck because someone else is getting karma. Someone is getting some judgment and they're not liking it. The past is coming back. And they're not liking it. Shit's biting them in the ass. Yeah, this person you were dealing with, this King of Wands energy, you never would get the truth from this person. You know that shit. You know that shit. Yeah, they were definitely had some fucked up attachments when you were dealing with them. Very shady energy. Very toxic energy. This person definitely could have some addictions. They definitely have some fucking issues that weren't good definitely wouldn't be good for you you're at a crossroads and you're seeing the truth you know what you need to do this is about making the decision to move forward and be abundance get some new starts get some new growth in your life you're seeing that you're cutting out the things that are not to your benefit and you're defending yourself Why would you be defending yourself unless you know you got to be on the defensive with, with someone, right? But we got this King of Cups here, right? Seven of Cups in reverse, four Pentacles in reverse, and the Sun card. I'm really wanting to say this is a new person, but the only thing that's holding me back from that is the fact that Seven of Cups in the reverse and the Four of Pentacles in reverse. This is someone that has made a decision to let go. They've, they've dropped the options. Whatever the hell they've been holding on to in the past, they've let that shit go. They want happiness. Maybe this is the energy you're going to take. You're going to start loving yourself. You're going to drop the burdens and the bullshit to go find your happiness. This could very well be another energy coming in. Someone that is actually emotionally, emotionally what you're looking for. Someone that is going to be a kind, loving, generous person. Okay? Not this King of Wands energy. That You know, the Wands energy is just like player energy. It's quick, it's, quick, it's passionate, the sex is good, but that's about it. You don't, you know, marry a fuck boy or fuck girl.
Someone sees you as wish fulfillment. A partnership with you would be wish fulfillment. Someone's seeing that. But someone knows they're not going to get a new start till they move away. Eight of cup. But someone is just stuck emotionally in a situation, which is, you know, this new start can't happen. It can't happen till someone moves away. Because the conflict here is around a choice in love with the nine of, ten of cups. We got the ten of pentacles and the ten of cups. You got some beautiful energy here, but even that is surrounded by conflict. It's other people that's in control of this. Other people that are, are worried about what the fuck you're doing. Spirit's like, you got to end something and drop the burdens. For spirit to come in. For you to get this happiness. So someone's getting karma. Got someone here at temperance. Getting some patience. Getting some loving. Some, some kindness. Some healing. Some self-love. You're coming out of the past deception, right? You're, you've seen the devil. You know who you're dealing with, right? You know the toxicities. You're going to be on the defensive. Future energy, though, look at these cards. The Sun card, the Nine of Cups, the World, the Ten of Cups, and the Wheel of Fortune. You got good coming. But I caution. Someone from the past is going to want to come back and fuck you up. So, don't go there. This King of Wands shows up. Don't go there. Because there's a King of Cups. There's an energy here that really wants to come in and grow and love and be everything that you want. Okay? I was going to say we don't have the Magician card out here. Yeah, we've got the Fool in Reverse, the Five of Cups, and the Queen of Pentacles. If someone comes back and you know you've dealt with them in the past, because it's definitely got to be a past person, because you're going to have your defenses up. Don't don't even have a conversation, okay? Don't don't answer the text. Don't answer the call. If you see them coming, run. Just just don't go there, okay? Keep your eyes out for someone new. Keep your options open, okay? Because there is someone that I think is, is looking at you and seeing you as wish fulfillment. You would be like the sun, the world, the will of fortune, the ten of cups, the nine of cups, the ten of pentacles. You would be everything to them. And I think it would be vice versa for you. Because they're going to give you what you need. But don't get caught up in this past energy, okay? Leave the past in the fucking past. Because they're just going to block any new growth. Because they see you're strong. They see you you got your shit together. And they don't like that. You're dealing with a fucking narcissist. Whew. Peace, love, and light, guys. Don't go back to the old. Look out for the new, okay? Trust me on this. Don't go back to the old. Don't give them the chance to fuck your shit up again. Peace, love, and light. Peace, love, and light. Good luck.